السلام علیکم ایوری ون تھینکس فار واچنگ آل مائی ویڈیوز اینڈ پلیز آپ لوگ کامنٹ دیا کریں تاکہ مجھے پتا چلے کہ آپ لوگ اور کیا دیکھنا چاہتے ہیں ٹو ڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو میک اے ویری بیسک اٹالین سوس جو کہ بہت سی اٹالین ریسیپیز میں یہ جاتا ہے سو آئی ایم میکنگ ٹو ڈے میرینیرا سوس میرینیرا سوس از ویری ایزی ٹو میک اینڈ یو کین اسٹور اٹ ان دا ریفریجریٹر فار اے ویک اینڈ یو کین اسٹور اٹ ان دا فریزر یو کین فریز دس for about three months and if you are traveling you can take this with you and boil the pasta mix the sauce and your pasta is ready so let me show you what, uh, what you need for this recipe so for the marinara sauce you're going to need one can of crushed tomato with basil if you don't have this you can have a, a just the plain sauce this is a regular plain sauce so these are the two cans of uh, tomato sauce of one um 28 oz okay then i have two chopped onions i have two tablespoon of uh, very um thin crust of uh, garlic here i have rustisari sauce i'm going to use one tablespoon for two cans and if you're using uh, one can then half a tablespoon i'm going to use one tablespoon of italian seasoning one tablespoon of white vinegar two tablespoon of olive oil and here i have salt i have a 1 tablespoon of salt i'm going to adjust the taste so this is just a beginning um i have cumin cumin powder so this is like about a teaspoon 1 teaspoon of cumin powder 1 half teaspoon of red chili powder 1 teaspoon of um um paprika powder so see the difference between the red chili powder and paprika So red chili powder is spicy paprika is not paprika is usually made of a uh, red bell pepper so they dry the red bell pepper and then crush it and this is the paprika it just gives like a really red color this is my sugar so i have like 2 tablespoon of sugar so this all you need and i will tell you what to do next okay so now the oil is ready i'm going to add the onion and i'm going to let it cook for a bit zyada cook nahi karna hai you just have to let it um, be translucent okay once it changes a little bit of color you will know that the onion is ready so then you're going to add the garlic and i'll show you what to do next here thoda okay so now you can see ke onion hamari done hai it's translucent now So now I'm going to add my garlic. This is like a two tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to mix it and saute it for about a minute, so that the garlic flavor is kept in the middle. So once the garlic is sauteed for a minute, I'm going to add the um, two cans of tomato sauce. So in here, as I said, that I have one just the plain tomato sauce, and the other one is the um, uh tomato puree with uh, basil if you don't have it again just use the plain tomato sauce okay and i will show you what to do next okay so after a minute i'm going to add the sauce okay one more let it come to boil and then add all the masalas as well as all the sauces that i showed you um the vinegar the rustisari sauce and also the um italian seasoning and let it cook and see right now it's kind of uh, too thick so what you're going to do is you're going to add four cups of water so two cups of water per can and it's going to make it really thin but that's fine you know because you're going to cook this for 20 minutes in uh, low to medium heat and it's going to thick it out again and once it's done it's done so i'll show you the final product okay okay so now i'm going to add all my masalas plus the rustisari sauce one tablespoon of this this is my one tablespoon and one tablespoon of vinegar my one tablespoon 
and my Italian seasoning okay and I'm going to mix it and let it come to a boil again and I'm going to lower the heat to medium low and cook it for 20 minutes I'm going to cover half of it okay so once it's done I'll show you how it looks okay okay so now you can see that my marinara sauce is ready I use this sauce to like um, make the red pasta parmigiano reggiano chicken parmesan um, not parmesan reggiano sorry chicken parmesan um, eggplant parmesan I also use this for the sides for the garlic knots or garlic bread so the choices are endless so you can as I said before ke aap isko store kar sakte ho refrigerator mein for a week um, you can store it uh, freeze it for like three months store it in a container or ziploc bag zip it up throw it in the you know refrigerator or freezer and it will last for you for three months at least um, also I did not show you that I added black pepper so the black pepper you are going to add in there for like like uh, I added ha um, half a teaspoon and I also adjust the salt because I thought that there is there is salt needed again it's it depends on family to family person to person so salt it's all always up to you how much you want to add so if you like this video share with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel hit the bell icon so you guys can see it first and uh, please uh, give me a comment if you want um, this is my style of uh, sauce because since we are like Indian we are Desi people we like little spicy so that's why I add always I add uh, red chili powder and red chili flakes and whatever so uh, as I said before it's my style if you don't want red pepper in there do not add it but I do add it because I like that uh, so, um, spiciness so I hope you like this video. Hit the like button please. Thank you. Bye.